This is James Calm, the guy on the bike, and today we're coming to you from Leonard Street in Tribeca. We're going to visit an art exhibition at KS Art, and this is an exhibition of Pearl Balvelt, McDermott, and Magoo. Let's take a look. Now these are the work of uh, Pearl Blauvelt, who is a, uh, a naive artist, or an outsider artist, and I guess that she produced a bunch of these drawings and uh, left them stashed in a house in rural Pennsylvania, and somebody found them and decided they were art. Okay, this is an example of uh, McDermott and Magoo. These, this is an artist team that became popular in the uh, East Village during the mid-80s. They're kind of a mixture of uh, Oscar Wilde meets Andy Warhol. It's kind of a Victorian pop. They produce these pieces together, each of them working on different parts. This is an interesting piece. Towling New Turkish and others. What is catalogs of towels? Oh, now I can sort of see why uh, the curator put these works together. I think this is Mr. Magoo right here. Anyway, so we're back. Okay, this is another Pearl Blau Velt, and it's called a hundred and fifty dollar bill, nineteen forty. These are really extraordinary works. Great outsider art. And this is by McDermott of Goo, and it's called Negro New Yorker Cover. It's kind of a funny parody of the, the classic New Yorker magazine. This is Gorilla. I believe this is just pencil on cardboard. So it looks like a piece of found cardboard. Maybe it was part of a little cardboard box or something. This piece is Sacred Geometry, 2001, 36 by 36 inches. It's a very intriguing piece, kind of reminds me of uh, Victorian mysticism. Maybe something you might see in a Madame Blavatsky tract. We got the magnetic repulsion zone. 
This one must be called Slumberland. Children's Department of Pajamas and Night Dresses. All sizes and colors. Wow. This one is High Post Bedstead. And this one has got some color pencil work in, in it. It's a very uh, sophisticated use of uh, space, the way she lays out the composition. And a wonderful use of pattern here on the, the mattress and the, the headboards. must have been spending a lot of time looking at catalogs. Here is the Queen Anne style canopy bedsteads. And she's using the perspective, or kind of a primitive perspective here to show how the bedsteads would look in a room setting. This piece is Dandy's mole. Oil on canvas. Twenty and a half by twenty-four and a half inches. And it uh, displays the precisionist technique that uh, Jernabut and Magoo have developed and also they're, uh, they're playing with the different uh, lettering fonts. It's like a selection of water vessels, pitchers, and soup dishes. Woman in house, table on wall, Jerusalem, 1940. It's another McDermott Magoo. All persons are forbid using tobacco in this house. one is called Admirers. Pencil on paper. So it's tracing paper. And it looks a lot like uh, Victorian illustration. May dance. And here's a round gripper shoe. 14 by 16 inches oil on canvas. Uh, here's another beautiful shoe drawing. Okay, it's actually transparent overlaying of one shoe on top of the other. Here's what I like, the bicycle. The trapezoidal frame. This is James Calm coming to you from KS Art, 73 Leonard Street, and the Pearl Balvelt and McDermott and Magoo show organized by Bob Nickus. Thanks, Kate.